Hello guys, this is Ruben Rash. Welcome to Laravel Tutorials. In this uh, video, I'm going to talk about uh, what is migration and the importance of migration in Laravel. Uh, you could think uh, Laravel, uh, migration is uh, nothing but a version control system for your database. Like uh, if you want to add some uh, tables, new tables to your database or if you want to add new columns or drop some columns or drop tables from your database you could do all those things using migrations for that you have to write your migration files and uh, you have to execute few commands to uh, reflect the things which you have written in your migration files to the database when you create your new project you will uh, get a get to default migration files but it's not reflected to the database uh, you could you could find these two files under database folder and uh, you could see the migrations folder so here there are two files uh, it will be auto i mean it's a auto generated file and uh, now, now now we'll see the schema of uh, the migration file so in the migration file uh, you will see there are two functions the first function is uh, called up function and the second function is called down function whatever you write in the up function you have to write in the opposite way in the down i mean in the down function for example you are creating some table in your up function you have to write code to drop the table here which i mean uh, here you you have written to create the table i'll show why we need to do this uh, in few minutes so you can see here, uh, here there is a code to create users table. So here what this function tells is uh, this is going to be my table name. And uh, these are all my column names. And uh, these are all my column types. For example, id is going to be my uh, primary key. And uh, I am saying increment so by default uh, uh, the id will be incremented whenever you add a new row the id will be auto incremented and the name will be a string type and the email is a string type and we are adding uh, one more function called unique and it means uh, this column allow only unique values you can't add uh, duplicate email ids to this field i mean to this column and password is a string and uh, remember token it will create a column for remembering the token and timestamps it will create two more columns called uh, created at and uh, i think not we yeah, are created at updated at uh, deleted at it will create i think uh, three more columns we will we will check it here and here if you see the down function uh, like I said before, you have to write the logic just opposite to the logic which which you have uh, uh, written in the up function. To execute this, to execute this migration file, uh, you need to run a artisan command, and the command is uh, php artisan migrate. and uh, it says uh, some error yeah i know i know what what is this error in uh, in the database uh, i mean in the database section in laravel documents it says uh, if uh, you are using mysql version lesser than 5.7.7 .7, we need to say that our default string length is uh, 191 in the auth service provider we didn't do that yet so i'm going to auth service provider file and uh, here in the boot function i mean auth service provider sorry not auth service provider app service provider app service provider so here in the boot function i need to say schema uh, i can copy paste this command i mean this line of code and I need to use this path. I think uh, now I can do the migrate. So it says, uh, the, okay, uh, let me do it quickly. Migrate fresh. 
yes uh, i'll say what is this fresh means so it says uh, i have uh, created these two tables now we can go and check here we can uh, have refresh the page and you could see here laravel created three databases for us and one is user and the second table is password resets and the third one is migrations so if you go to users and uh, see the structure you will see the same thing uh, from the migration file so here we have a uh, id name email and password you can see id name email password remember token and uh, this timestamp uh, function created two more columns for us the one is created at and the second one is updated at so this will help us to know when the uh, data is created and uh, when the data is updated last and if you go to migrations table you can uh, see i think i will scroll here so you can see the file names here and uh, it have other column called batch so it means we ran these two migrations at the same time so it considers it consider these two migration under same batch for example if we write more migration files and uh, execute that migration it will uh, create a new row with the batch number two and uh, here now i will show why we need this uh, down function uh now i mean now we we have migrated these tables here now you don't want these three tables so you want to uh delete these two i mean these two tables uh users and password resets for that you can just execute this command php artisan migrate colon rollback so what this function will do is it will go and get the last migrated tables i mean last migrated files and it will execute this down function so if i execute this command so it says rolling back so these two files because it will take the last batch number and the related files and it will execute the down function and in the down function we have specified uh, drop drop the tables so if you refresh the page you will see there is only one migrations folder and even in the migrations folder there is no data because we have uh, removed those two tables now i am doing uh, php artisan migrate so now again uh, it create us two tables users password resets and migration so in the migrations again we got uh, two file names and the batch number is one this is almost done for this video and in my next video i will show how to create a new migration and uh, more about the batch numbers and uh, rollback only the only specific batch numbers if you like this video please give a thumbs up and uh, if you like my channel please do subscribe i will give more videos about laravel and uh, thank you very much guys for watching this video